this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's uh, lovely world. Today in this episode, I'm going to be joined by, well, you can see who I'm going to be joined by. I'm going to be joined by Polly Reindeer. You always know you're going to be joined by Polly when it seems to be snowing, even though there is not a single cloud in the sky, mainly because I turn clouds off because they go through the buildings and it looks weird. Anyway, let me go and have my breakfast. <laughs> which is going to be a cake, as always. Nom 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 Very tasty, and as always, Barnaby, you can stand up and you can join me. And as always, the first thing that I'm going to be doing today is going down to the love garden. I like to to keep my morning ritual the, the same, and I have done for, for quite a few years now. It would be silly for me to, to change it. But what wouldn't be silly would be to add someone to the love garden. And today, uh, I am adding Kathy. And the reason I'm adding Kathy is because she did this an amazing drawing of Squashy and me dancing. And I just love the art style that she used. It's just such a nice, happy pic. So I wanted to say thank you so much for drawing it for us and welcome to the love garden I keep seeing llamas about today every time I turn around there's just a, a different llama or a reindeer <laughs> Standing there and I will get llamas by the way and I've got parrots as well There's like behind where the skyscraper is there's a um there's like a kind of a jungle there. It's not like a real jungle because my world doesn't have real jungles, but that's where all the, the ocelots used to spawn. And I have seen some parrots spawning there as well. So llamas and parrots will be coming in the, the future. I just haven't really decided what to do with them yet, I guess. And it uh, looks like, is this who we're, we're taking with us today? We are taking Luna with us today. A very wise decision, Polly Reindeer. And what we're doing today is, well, if you've seen the, the last few episodes, then you will be very aware of what we're, we will be doing. We will be doing the <laughs> inside of the farm factory and we did a pretty great start on it in the the last episode this is basically what we we got done in the last episode i've done a, a little bit of tidying up and adding in some torches and stuff since then but yeah basically as you can see this is growing all of the the sugar cane when it gets too tall it kind of gets chopped off and then gets gathered up that way uh this one is pumpkins and then this one is pumpkins uh, as well and then this is melons uh we uh, finished this off and then this one here over here is melons uh, as well so they're all finished up and then we have the the mushroom rooms down here so basically everything is going to be getting automatically gathered up and probably there's probably a few in it already oh no none in that one yet are there any in here uh, okay, maybe, maybe none have been <laughs> gathered up yet. I think I, I've kind of collected a few of them up uh, as well. So nothing in there yet, but eventually these hoppers will uh, start getting filled up. And then that means they're going to be stored in this hopper until we get the, the minecart track uh, kind of working properly uh, as well. So right then, today we are doing, if we go and follow the, the trail, uh, this is everything that we have done here. Today we're doing cactus, uh, we're going to do chorus fruit, and also uh, cocoa beans, which is going to be the, the thing that we're going to, to kind of start off doing. Uh, at the, the beginning here. So uh, basically, we can have a, a big glass wall, which is going to go over the, the top here. And then this glass wall is going to kind of link up with the, the kind of glass wall that we started here. And then this is going to make our our booth, uh, I guess, for... Uh, that was a really fun way to say booth then. Our booth <laughs> for <laughs> where all of the, the coca beans are going to be planted. So where this uh, this glass is, uh, this is going to be where the coca beans are actually going to fall down. And then there's going to be a minecart track underneath here where it's going to be all gathered up. And then if I go and make some spruce planks, uh, they're going to be going Going along the the side here like this and then this is basically going to be a a walkway so tell you what Polly do you want to do you want to start doing this so the walkway is going to go along here like this and then in the the middle uh, there's just going to be glass and the reason I want glass down there is because the minecart track is going to make its way back from that side to this side underneath here and I just want you to be able to see it I want you to be kind of just walking around and like able just to, to kind of see everything that's going on and the the minecart whizzing around all over the place so uh, that's the reason for doing the glass and the floor and the same with down here because the minecart's going to be going underneath here picking up all of the the coca beans i just want everyone to, to be able to to see it so this stretch here where the coca beans are going to be this needs to be 12 blocks along so I tell you what let me just go there we go i got 12 blocks in my inventory so i can just go and build this uh, along here like that and then yeah once i've got the oh no i did okay i just need to do one more then <laughs> that i i have on me and that that should be 12 blocks so i think i just need to add one more block along there i'm going to count and check because that was like the worst 
worst way I could have done that. So <laughs> let's go and uh, do this. And then I'm going to count and check and make sure that was 12 blocks. I think it was. I think it was. I just want to confirm because everything needs to fit in absolutely perfectly here. So I'd rather just get it all right now rather than do the entire thing, get it finished really quick and then notice that I got it ever so slightly wrong. So uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I did do it right, but I feel much better now that I've gone and double checked. <laughs> right then, so along here, there's going to be a another glass wall. And then this is going to be kind of like the, the divider between the, the, the coca bean booth and then the thing which is going to be next to it, which is actually going to be the, the chorus fruit, which uh, I'm looking forward to, to showing you how to, to do that. So let me go and start building this wall here just to kind of mark where it's going to, to be. And then Polly, do you want to just kind of carry on building the, the walkway just with the, the spruce planks? Just kind of at the, the same height all the way down to that end wall there. And that will get things ready for when I go to, to build it a little bit later on. But for now, uh, let me go and explain how the, the coca beans are going to work. So we're going to be once again using our favorite friends in this uh, this farm, which is going to be the, the pistons. And it's actually a really, really simple way this works. So basically, we're going to have three sticky pistons on this side like that. You could do, actually no, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. I am, but they're going to be here because there needs to be a little bit of, uh, of redstone behind them. But basically the same thing. And this could go higher. It's kind of easy to do it with three because you don't really need to link up any proper redstone. But if you really, really, really needed loads of cocoa beans, then you could kind of do that like way, way, way higher. The only thing is with the cocoa beans is you do need to plant them again by hand. So you want to, to make sure that you can kind of reach them all, which is just the the thing to, to bear in mind if you do kind of go crazy and try to do a bigger farm than I'm doing just just remember that you are gonna have to be able to, to get up there and keep planting them so I think this is a this is a nice size to, to do so let me make actually I'm gonna do some stone buttons I think they might look a little bit nicer so basically what we're doing here is so that when I press this button it's gonna extend all three of those pistons it will be the exact same thing on this side there like that which means what we can do is basically make a uh, a wall which is going to to shift back and forth in the middle here and actually wait a minute I've realized that I don't think this should be so I think these should be normal pistons rather than sticky pistons but let's let's just go with it like this and see how it goes because there actually might be a more effective way of doing this than how I first thought actually I might just be able to do it with oh no no it, I let me let me just see if this works so basically if I push this I think it's gonna pull back some of the blocks yeah it goes uh it goes a little bit funky <laughs> it kind of does work in the same way but when you're gonna build it don't use sticky pistons just use normal pistons actually I could probably, I probably have what I need on me to make normal pistons. It's just annoying because it's it's harder to make sticky pistons rather than normal pistons. And I made like the more difficult ones. But let's go and switch these around. So basically, the way this works is you're going to plant all of the, the cocoa beans on the, the wall. And when the blocks move that the cocoa beans are on, it basically breaks them all off. Which means you can basically press one button, it will slide along the, the entire wall. And then you'll be able to easily go and gather up the cocoa beans. Actually, you don't even need to gather them up. The, uh, the, the minecart will go and do that for you. So you just need to you just need to press the button and then replant them. So uh, let's go and do it like this. This is the way it should work. So basically, you have an entire big solid wall like this. You go and press the, the button. The entire thing slides along to this side and then you can go and slide it back the, the other side like that. So uh, Polly, do you want to go and start throwing down some cocoa beans? If I go and throw you these, you just go and cover this wall with them here. And what I'm going to do behind here is the exact same thing again. Basically, we have room to, to do this entire thing twice, which is why I didn't really care about building like the wall really, really high up just because it doesn't really matter that, that much because we're going to have two of these walls anyway. So we're going to have plenty of cocoa beans. And like, how often do I need <laughs> more cocoa beans? Like the, the person that's going to care more about this is Fizzy because that means he's going to be able to make loads and loads of cookies. So let me think about how this is going to be. We're going to have the floor across here. And then I'm going to once again uh, do a another row of glass underneath the, the floor here. Just so once again, you can see the minecart. So the minecart's going to have to do a few like twists and turns around this area here just to, to make sure it can gather everything up. And then now we just need to do the the same thing again i need to go and make even more of these pistons those those sticky pistons they will they will go to a good home i will always find a use to use sticky pistons in my lovely world don't worry about that what have i run out, oh, I ran out of cobblestone actually okay i might have to just do it with the the sticky pistons for for now and then uh switched out a little bit later on uh until i've got some more cobblestone i mean cobblestone's not <laughs> particularly a difficult thing to, to get i'm sure i'm gonna be able to get some uh soon enough that i can go and finish this off so let's just build these walls up here uh just to, to kind of 
trying to keep everything nicely contained so all of the the cocoa beans don't go pinging all over the the place and making a, a mess and then yeah we're gonna have like these walls around all of these different boobs and then i just need to do the same thing again so uh just some of these blocks these could of course be any blocks but we're we're keeping it all within the the same style uh kind of just throughout the entire place but one of the the fun things about building like what i'm building in this way is that like i'm not like caring too much about like the way things look like i want everything to look just very functional i guess if that makes sense i want everything to to kind of look like it's it's just there because that's the most efficient way for it to be rather than like spending ages covering up all of the redstone and like covering up all of the mechanics i want people to walk in and see how everything works and i want them to see the pistons going and the minecart wizard around like i just think that's like a more fun style to do for a factory it just makes it more exciting than it would have been otherwise so of course this side is isn't going to isn't going to entirely work properly but we can still put down the the coca beans and then i'll switch around the the sticky pistons and it would still kind of work with the sticky pistons it's just not as i don't know not as neat i guess <laughs> i love the way i was just saying about how i don't care about it being neat and then i was saying that i want it to, to be more neat but yeah you can see how this is going to be here they grow really really quick these coca beans so uh, before the end of the episode i'll be able to, to demonstrate uh, what would happen if i press this button it's really it's really tempting just to press it now to see what happens but i won't polly i'll be good i'll be good i won't press it yet we'll wait <laughs> until they've all grown but now we get to, to go and do the the chorus fruit so uh this needs to go an extra 11 blocks along so let me try and do the the same method that i did last time so i don't need to, to count uh, but hopefully not place the the glass in the the wrong place so yeah that's how big that area needs to, to be then there's going to be another glass wall between here which is going to be uh splitting off where the cactus area is and this is a, a good time to test whether we got the dimensions right because this should now be nine blocks along so we go one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect! We nailed it! Okay, so everything, everything at least for now seems to be fitting in the way it's supposed to be fitting in, uh, which was my, my biggest worry. So... Chorus fruit. These are these are new to me. So I only got these uh these kind of chorus fruit for for Christmas from uh, from Santa. It was one of the presents, and you also got me some end stone as well, which was very very important. Santa always knows uh, exactly what it is that I want uh, because it means that I can grow it. Because you need to grow the chorus fruit on the the end stone. Uh, they simply just don't grow on anything else. So it's very very important to to get the the right materials. And so all we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of spread these out throughout the the area here. Uh, I'm basically leaving three blocks between them all so like three blocks between these here and then i'll do this one in the middle of this area down here like that and they're they're pretty easy to grow the thing with chorus fruit is there's there's no real elegant way to be able to to gather them up because to get the the fruit back which is oh no not the fruit sorry the flowers back which is what you need to to plant more of them you need to break them away by hand like even if you used you know my good friend's pistons again or, or something like it still just wouldn't work properly uh, just because you wouldn't get the the flowers back you have to use your hand. So the best thing that you can do is just to, to kind of contain where the flowers grow. And we're going to do that by just putting in some glass panes, which uh, kind of will fit in with the, the style of the place, won't take up too much room. Uh, and also it just means that it will limit how high like a bunch of the flowers can grow. So basically you need to, to go and gather up the, the flowers by hands. But then we can just use these dispensers, uh, which will go and fire out a bunch of water. And they'll go and destroy the the rest of all of the the plants in the the area around here. So uh, let me once again go and make a a couple of these stone buttons. And these are simple. Basically, you just have to go and press two buttons. You could, if you had like more room and stuff, kind of link it up so you just have to press one button and that would do it. But I'm I'm fine having to walk down here and press two buttons, considering I'm going to be walking around anyway, gathering up all of the the fruit. It doesn't really make too much difference. So right then, let's go to to one of my many crafting tables that we've placed in here. And uh, then let's go and make these glass panes, and uh, I'll show you kind of where where the the best places to place them would be that was a difficult sentence to, to say so basically uh, i will be doing it uh two blocks high well they'll be on the the third block high uh which means the the flowers will grow one block underneath them and i'll basically be covering three of the four sides of where the the actual fruit is going to to grow so you can kind of see i've put them up this high here uh, it means i can easily walk underneath them which is uh, another uh, bonus uh, as well and then that means that the the fruit should if this all works end up growing 
just underneath where these are here. So yeah, Polly, do you want to uh, to, to help me out? Uh, Tell you if you place the, the blocks down, I can kind of come uh, around and go and start putting down these glass panes since I have all of these here. And then we can go and break it all away and then it's done. Yeah, that's the, the chorus fruit uh, part done. Uh, the only th other thing I need to do is I do need to add buckets of water into the, the dispensers, uh, but I need uh, water as well for the, the next thing that I'm going to do. So I might go and make an infinite water source and maybe make some more buckets uh, as well before that. So uh, yeah, Polly, do you want to, to go and break all of them away? While you do that, I'm going to go and start planting down some of these flowers because it would be great to, to actually see these things growing because they kind of grow a bit crazy. So we have like a natural ceiling here by the, the roof, but if you didn't have a ceiling, these grow really tall and in really crazy patterns. So it'd be just such a cool thing just to have like inside of your, your world anyway, just because they just look really awesome, basically. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, let's leave uh, Polly there finishing that off for, for now. And then I'm going to go next door. And then we're making great progress today, by the way. Are we making good progress? I think we're making great progress. So yeah, uh, now I need to, to go and do the, the cactus. And the cactus is probably the simplest out of all of them. Out of everything here, this is probably the, the simplest one out of all of them. And oh, I'm banging my head a bit here. I was wondering, I kept like walking forward, like, come on, why can't I walk? And I'm just smashing my head into like, <laughs> into the ceiling. Oh, I've got to knock myself out. So yeah, the cactus is so, 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 so unbelievably simple. Basically, we have to put down some sand around the, the area, as you might expect. That's what uh, the, the cactus grows on. Uh, we're then going to put some water uh, in between. And we don't need a dispenser or anything. The water can kind of just basically always be there. And then we need to place a few blocks. And then that's it. There's no redstone, no pistons, no dispensers. I'm sorry, Polly. I know I'm, I'm upsetting you as I say this. <laughs> it literally couldn't be simpler. So basically, all we need to do is to put a block kind of just slightly above where cactuses are going to grow. So if I put a block here and then if I go and put a, a block down here as well basically cactus can't grow next to another block let me just go and demonstrate this just in case you haven't played around with uh, with cactuses very much so if I put that there if I place a block next to it you'll see the cactus goes poof and just breaks off so I don't need to use a dispenser or anything to like break them away basically I can just let the the game do it itself basically if I go and put these down here when these are uh, these cacti grow to this level they will be they'll grow but then they'll realize wait a minute I'm next to a block I hate it and then they'll jump off and then we can just use water to push them down here where the minecart will be able to, to go and gather them all up so the only slight problem with the the cactus and it is only a slight problem is that they um and they sometimes like break themselves. Like sometimes when the cactus breaks off, it will fall down here perfectly where we want it. And sometimes it will land on itself or on another cactus, which basically means it destroys itself. So that's kind of the, the only problem with the, the way the, the cactus works is that sometimes they can end up destroying themselves, which is a little bit of a, of a bother, but not too big of a problem, especially because it's kind of completely automated where, you know, I could just leave that going forever. And then eventually I'd end up with loads and loads of cactus. Like I don't have to come here and replant them or do any of that stuff which means I'm basically not going to be running out of cactus and to be honest from my old farm I already have stacks of cactus anyway so <laughs> efficiency really doesn't even matter too much because I've, I've already got everything that I actually need around here <laughs> uh, so what's I doing oh yeah I need to add down these inside of uh, of here so these will go and uh, begin growing Luna you're kind of scaring me around the the cactus can you can you just like oh no, no this way this way Luna that's it look at me look at me and sit down thank you Luna I let you roam around most of the, the video but with the water and the cactus down there, I'm getting a little bit worried. So I think this is pretty much all done. Do you want to go and uh, if you grab some of these torches, Polly, I will leave you as torch champion. Just be careful to not light up this back corner too much where the um, the mushrooms are because we need them to, to be able to, to continue growing. But especially around where all of the, the plants are, not these so much. They don't need light, but especially the cocoa beans. We want them to be able to grow all through the night as well as the, the day. So it'd be good to, to get all of them ready. And while she does that, I need to, I think I did this in a bit of a bad order to be fair but I need to basically continue this track going underneath here so you can see why I left like this glass along here it means basically as you're gathering things up if you look down every now and then you'll see a, a minecart whizzing down underneath you no no I broke my axe that's not good <laughs> let's go oh no I'm not gonna make another crafting table oh wait a minute my craft, the crafting tables have all gone. I will make another crafting table. <laughs> for once, it's the right thing to, to do for me to, to go and make myself a, uh, another crafting table. So yeah, basically, as you're going and gathering things up, every now and then you'll be able to, to look down uh, through the, the ground and you'll be able to, to see the, the minecart making its merry little journey. And the good thing is as well, 
is that minecarts with hoppers in, they just go really far and like really fast. Like they're not like a normal minecart. I, I guess it's almost as if like there was an animal in them or something. You know, like if like you're in a minecart, it goes faster than just an empty minecart. It's like that, which means we really hardly need any power rail. So there's no power rails along that lap back section there. Just that tiny ramp is enough to, to power it. We can have one power rail there. And I think we'll do a, we'll do a bit of a test in a second, but I think that should be enough to, to power it to, to make it all the way around here so let me make some uh, minecarts will be uh, pretty crucial for for this and then we can uh, we can test out and uh, we can see how far it's going to, to be able uh, to go and make its way along so there we go there's a whole stack of rails but we're probably gonna need them because we are far from done here so it's gonna have to go all the way back down this way and eventually back down there and then across here again for kind of the the final row that it needs to, to go across this is just the the kind of awkward bit for for where these cocoa beans are because it's gonna have to to kind of loop around underneath there to be able to to grab everything for the the cocoa beans like both rows of them but the the awkward thing is is that it's kind of going to be a little bit in the way with just this ceiling that we've done here how would be the best way to do that so i guess i should go and do the back row first and then come back and then do the the front row so maybe i should make it go like across down here and then it will loop around and go back the, the other way. It doesn't matter too much. I'm fretting about the, the small details right now. But I think the easiest way for me to do this is to, to kind of go go down there in the, the water. And to just place it down like above my head to, to kind of mark it that way. So I need to go along here like this. Then I'm just going to have to kind of break away the, the blocks. I guess all I need to do is see where the, the glass is above my head. Because that's where all of the, the coca beans are going to be dropping down. So this one needs to go across here. So tell what, Polly, if you can... I know it won't be easy for you because there's a lot of stuff in the way, but if you can somehow try and place the, the power rail, uh, not the power rails, just the rails on the blocks that I place down, the, the spruce blocks, then that would be really, really helpful because that is one thing that I will not be able <laughs> to, to do from underneath here. Little bit of a tip, if you do try and build this or something similar, place the tracks down first before, <laughs> before building everything else and you'll make life way, way, way easier for you. You might even need to, to smash the the glass poly and then like replace it afterwards because otherwise i don't know if you're going to be able to reach but you you might be able to to find a, a neater solution to to be able to to do that so yeah let's go all the way down to the the end here and then it needs to, to loop around and go back across to, to get the, the other bits of the cocoa beans. It's actually really easy having that glass down because I can see exactly where it is, uh, where it needs to, to go. And then eventually it's going to go and loop all the way back up. So you know the, the path that Polly did earlier with the, the glass going down the, the middle? It's then going to go directly underneath that glass all the way back to the, the other side. And then it will be set up for the, the final journey it needs to, to do where it's going to be getting all of like the all of the normal crops. Things like the, the wheat and then the, the carrot and potatoes and stuff it'll be able to gather up all of them and they are probably going to be i don't i don't think they're simpler than the the cactus but they're all the same it's all just like the same thing we need to, to build for all of them so in that way i think it's definitely going to be quite a lot easier so now i need to go along this way like this until oh that's the path right there isn't it is that the path yeah i think that's the the path right there so now we can go back or is that oh no that's is that the path is that the right one? Should, should I build along that way? Or is that kind of getting in the wrong way? That is. Okay. So it then needs to go along this way. Oh, yeah. Of course it is. Of course it is. So that needs to go along there. But you know what? I think it would be easier to do that from the, the top. <laughs> but first, I need to find a way out of here. I kind of dug myself into a little bit of a hole. Let's kind of go and dig up to, to here and then try and find a way to get back up to the, the surface. <laughs> that was definitely not the, the most efficient way to, to build that. So I'll tidy up that mess a little bit later on. Let me just go and see uh, whether this minecart track is going to, to be working the way it's uh <laughs> it's supposed to so have i done this right so yeah there we go then this path is gonna go along there so that's what was confusing me this isn't supposed to be there that's not supposed to be linked up and then this track is supposed to go all the way uh, around uh, along here like that so we have ourselves uh, a giant loop right to the the very back wall over here and then it's gonna go and loop back around and then basically go down kind of what it did here but going back in the the other direction so let me go i don't know if it's still on me let me go make a a hopper minecart thingy 
And then let's go and send it off and let's see whether we need to, to add any power rails in or whether it's going to, to make it like all the way along there by itself. I know. Do you have any spare iron on you, Polly? I don't have. I've used up all of my iron making all of the, the tracks just to, to make a, a mine cut uh, to be able to put the hopper in. Thank you very much. I knew you would be more prepared than me. So uh, let's go and make the, the mine cut and then I can go and pop the, the hopper into it. And you'll see what I mean by how far it goes. So until the end up there, there's literally no power rails. Look how far it goes from just going down that little tiny ramp look it just goes down that ramp and okay i know i can't see it right now but you'll see it's going to go all the way to the end down there just just kind of by itself it's just making its very little way down there then i have one little power rail down there and it will reach that and then it will go really fast like how far fast it goes there's literally no power rails here whatsoever but i don't think it's going to be able to make its entire way back so polly do you want to place a power rail just down around here somewhere uh just somewhere to, to kind of keep it sped up i'm going to go and try and break away that block there because otherwise that's uh, annoying me but Apart from that, I think we got- Oh no, look! Oh, we're coming up a bunch of stuff! Oh my god, it had two pumpkins in it, and it had two sugar cane as well. Oh, let's go throw them in. Let's go throw them into the, the hoppers. The first things that have been gathered in the, the farm factory. I didn't expect that. I don't know why I didn't expect that, but I didn't expect that. So these go in here, and then these go in here like this. And so the way the hoppers work, basically there's just one of each item in a row along here, which means it will only be able to, to kind of take the item that fits in there. So it's all going to be sorted out. So there we go. This is the automated farm done for all of these. I've got to show you the cocoa beans working though, don't I? So if I just press this, boom, look at that. Isn't that so satisfying? And then of course the um, the, the mine cart would go and make its way uh, along there and uh, pick up all of these. And then you would have to do the, the long process of going to, to replant them every time. But the amount of cocoa beans you get is like amazing. Like, look at that. I got like an extra 30 cocoa beans just from that one single wall. And we have two of the walls. So cocoa beans are not going to be a problem for me in the, the future. But sadly, that is the end of this episode here. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. As always, uh, there'll be a link in the description to the next episode once it's online but for now thanks for watching and i will see you all later bye